Good morning. It's Monday. Welcome to the week. I'm here in my studio getting ready for a funeral <laughs> as per usual. This morning was unusual. Um, Colin actually wanted to get up and go to the gym before school, which he did. Yeah, so I dropped him off real early and um, then he's gonna go to school right after that. In the meantime, again, I'm just getting ready for this funeral. Had a great weekend, a really short vlog, the last weekend vlog, I think. Um, I got to celebrate my birthday all over again on Sunday with my mom and my sister, came over and brought some food. It's a good weekend. Met the puppy and uh, I think we're gonna go for it. <laughs> After school, uh, Colin and I are gonna go see if we can rent a tux for him. Oh my gosh, so last minute. I hope we can find one that we can rent uh, for this weekend. Yes, it's this weekend. So we'll see what we can find. He's got a prom that he's going to on Saturday. <laughs> we are so last minute around here. But that is the day. So it's a funeral, school, tux, and that'll be pretty much the end of the, the day. I have some returns, uh, I think I mentioned the last time around, so. Okay, I will catch you later, guys. Bye. Okay, back from the funeral. Look, aren't these pretty? So I'm gonna have breakfast now. It's like 11.45ish, and I'm basically gonna eat leftovers from last night. My mom and my sister came over to do like a a late birthday celebration because I didn't have a chance to see them on my birthday. Um, but they brought these roses. Aren't they gorgeous? It's like, it's only three, three stems of roses, but they have these mini rose bushes uh, right up the driveway of their house. And they're gorgeous. I mean, like just three stems and look at that. It's like a full bouquet. I love it. Maybe I should grow those. I wonder if I could grow those here. But <laughs> let me show you what leftovers I'm gonna have for my breakfast even though I'm doing gluten-free and no added sugar. <laughs> oh yes, it's happening. It's happening. It's, it's, it's happening. Ta-da! <laughs> Leftover strawberry pie. It's my favorite. If I've ever mentioned it before on my other channel, my old vlogs, it's my favorite birthday cake. I don't, not really a cake cake person trust me i'll eat cake but when it comes to my birthday i want a strawberry pie i want a strawberry pie with whipped cream so this is my this is my breakfast <laughs> so bad right okay so i am gonna do that i'm watering my pothos because it is so droopy now like it's so thirsty put a little food uh, plant food in there too, but it generally it's I haven't killed it. It's it's grown so much Same with that up there another pothos and um, Yeah, I'm so excited because like most of my plants haven't died <laughs> most of them There's only one I actually recently had to throw out, but um, it was like a little oh, what was it called? Um, I forgot the name of it and I had already I've already thrown it out so it was this little tiny thing and I think it was like getting, there was like root rot or something. It just wasn't growing well, but anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast now and um, and then I'm gonna go take, I'm gonna take Capri out for a walk cause she needs to go for a walk, but I gotta change first, so. All right, see you guys later today. Okay, quick little grocery haul. I didn't get to do my full haul because I, ha I had the funeral this morning. So I picked up what I needed, just, <laughs> I don't need this, but <laughs> picked up a few things. Let us just put it that way. Uh, I don't remember the totals around 20 something, but um, okay, so more of the Starlight Zero because I'm an addict. <laughs> We've got some plums here. We also have some uh, low carb tortillas. Colin wants chicken quesadillas for lunch. We have some Braunschweiger. Uh, otherwise known as liverwurst, I think, kind of. So that's for me, because nobody else will touch it. Cuties, 
for the boy and everybody else. And then he also requested um, some egg whites in his breakfast sandwich. So I decided to go ahead and get the carton of it and I'll add it to a full egg or so just to give him a little more protein. So that's that. And that was pretty much it for Aldi. Total was $24.43. Okay, so um, today went well. We went ahead and ordered the tux. It should get here on Wednesday do the fitting stuff and make sure it fits properly and uh, he's all set for this weekend so last minute but he wasn't the only one there were like maybe two or three other guys in there for their prom and they were like this friday and this saturday so i don't feel <laughs> i don't feel totally alone but um yeah so i forgot that we were having our church group tonight and our, our church group isn't really meeting for church discussion um we are having a break like a week off um so there's no discussion this week but we are still getting together for dinner and game night we are gonna learn how to play mahjong <laughs> so the hosts and the, the couple in our group they know how to play and they you know they're gonna teach us how to do it and the other lady doesn't know how to play either so um yeah i'm a sad sorry excuse for a filipino because i don't know how to play mahjong <laughs> i feel like my family and like extended family they know how to play mahjong but i don't Hopefully that will all change tonight. Um, so that should be fun. And maybe I'll, I'll capture a few sneak peeks of like the game and maybe the food that we have. Um, so that is it. I'm gonna sign off for now, just like, you know, do my little outro or whatever for today. And hopefully I'll have little clips for you from tonight and, and the game night. So um, if I don't see you again, see you tomorrow. Does that make sense? Not a whole lot. Okay, see you in the next clip. Bye. morning it's tuesday morning and i am coming to you from the parking lot of la fitness <laughs> uh colin actually made it to the gym again this morning it was really rough this morning i actually had to keep like trying to wake him up because he said he wanted to go every day this week um so yeah uh, we were in a, a bit of a rush but i think he got here you know in a decent amount of time he's gonna have a decent workout time i think but anyway i went to the store while he was is is yeah while well, he's still working out i went to the store while he's in the gym i uh, picked up some good deals i just went over to the ralph's again i think i'm really just kind of using ralph's to scope out all the clearance items they have really good things in fact they had more ground beef <laughs> they had one more at 99 cents and then they had i think some newer clearance uh, ground beefs at 199 but i picked up so much last time that i just well, number one, I don't really have a whole lot of room in the fridge. And number two, like, I don't need to hoard that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's a good deal. And um, the 99 cent thing was just an anomaly, I feel like, 
I think I just hit it at the right time, you know, because uh, normally $1.99, I've got, I've seen it at $3.99 before for that stuff, but anyway, I'm just super stoked that I got that deal last week, but yeah, this time, um, I'll show you when I get home, I picked up some pasta sauce, I kind of, it's the uh, Prego version of I want to say it's similar to the Rayos because it looked like clean ingredients. The carb count, um, what carb count was about the same. So it's their farmer's market kind and the flavor was roasted garlic. They had a bunch on the shelf, but it was normally like four fifty. I want to say like four fifty nine or something like that. And they were on clearance for one ninety three. So, so I'll show you later, but <laughs> I did pick up six jars. Uh, you know, just to have on hand, really easy. In fact, we're having spaghetti and meatballs tonight, so it'll come in handy. What else? Yeah, so I just wanted to check in for the Tuesday morning, you know, the morning sort of intro. And uh, yeah, I had fun last night at Mahjong. It was, it's complicated. We only did like two rounds, or I don't know what you call them, two games. Um, the first one was really rough. It's similar to the said it was similar to like gin rummy which i played a long time ago like when i was in college i used to play gin rummy not often but i mean i have played it before so it's just a matter of sort of relearning kind of the strategy and then you've got like the different characters and the different suits they've got flowers balls sticks uh what else and like characters. Um, and then of course they're like Chinese names and stuff like that. So anyway, it's complicated. It's definitely complicated, but it was fun. I kind of sort of started to understand it better towards the end, but we had to go because it was just like way too late. We could have played that all night. And uh, I don't know how people move those tiles around so fast to like make decisions so fast, but I guess it just comes with practice. Last update for this morning, we are going to the mall after school to see if we can find a suit for Colin. Now, yesterday you saw we went to rent a tux for the prom this weekend, but his school's prom is next week and so he needs something for that he wants to wear like a blue suit kind of like a navy suit or like oh the sun is like or like something really bright like a brighter blue or whatever but um uh so we need oh my gosh so we need to find something we need to find something and i thought well we'll go to the mall because i think it'd be a good investment to get a suit that fits him you know, that he'll be able to wear more than just the one time. Like yesterday, okay, we rented a tux because I mean, chances are he's not going to wear a tux as often as he'll be able to wear a suit or even part of the suit, like the jacket or like the coat or the pants or whatever. So I think we're going to go hit up whatever is at the mall. I think there's like a Macy's, maybe JCPenney. Um, there's a Zara. We always usually get his stuff at Zara. So I know there'll be stuff that fits him because the cuts are nice and slim and all of that. It's just a matter of like what colors they have, if he's willing to wear whatever it is they happen to have right now. So, okay. So that's the last update for the morning. I'll check in with you later when things are actually happening in my life. Probably oh, the mini grocery house. I'll show you that at home. Okay. Okay, so here's the haul for this morning. I did go to Aldi, not Aldi. I went to Ralph's and then I went to Grocery Outlet. Starting off with the Ralph's. So I did pick up zucchini. We're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs today. So, but I'm gonna try to like not do the pasta. So I'm gonna have just either side of roasted zucchini or something like that. Um, and these were the clearance, uh, what do you call them? Uh, what is this called? Pasta sauce. Prego Farmer's Market Roasted Garlic. Get my glasses on here. So you can see the back here, it's got tomatoes. So it's tomato juice, tomato puree, onions, garlic, olive oil, garlic. So it's clear, there's not like weird things in it. And I'm not sure why this is drippy. I should have maybe checked that first. It's not open. Yeah, it's not open. So I don't know the, where, where that's coming from. Uh, oh, maybe the peanut butter. Yeah, because I have peanut butter there. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, and then the carb count is eight carbs minus three, so five, about five. So it's about the same, I think, as comparable to Rayo's. 
for 193. So we'll see. I have six of them. I mean, we're gonna use it. <laughs> and uh, I know I usually like the I like the Aldi version too. Um, but I thought I'd try these out. So here is yep. Oh shoot, that's the peanut butter. It's definitely leaky. Hmm. Let me make sure this is not completely busted. But yeah, I got um, natural creamy peanut butter. Let me put this by the sink. I got these on clearance. Oh, the peanut butter was not on clearance, obviously. Uh, these were 49 cents for chopped cubed ham. Um, I'm going to put these with some uh, like scrambled egg, and I'm just going to do breakfast sandwiches that way for Colin uh, instead of making bacon and stuff. And then I picked this up. It was 79 cents uh, for the garlic bread, and we'll just use that for tonight for the uh, meat, spaghetti meatballs. And then the total here, $17.90, so under $20 for all that pasta sauce and, and peanut butter. Yeah, pretty good deal. And here is the stuff that I got from Grocery Outlet. Um, this was Impulse, yes it was. Um, I thought these were cool. I'd been seeing these every week that um, I've been going and then the numbers have been getting smaller and smaller. But it is this natural air purifier is what it says. It's a Japanese Asplenium Nidus Fern or Nidus Fern. I don't know, it's called Crispy Wave. It looks really cool. I don't know, it's just a cool looking plant. I am gonna just put this over on the counter to replace. I remembered what the plant was that I threw out. It was called a pepperon peperomia, and it just was not doing well. So crispy wave, this was $4.99. Got that, I got more Cosmic Crisp apples. This was uh, something that we needed to kind of replenish. Colin is all out of protein, so I thought I'd pick this up. I've had this before and I like it. It's plant-based, so it's not whey protein, but it was $12.99 for the smaller one. I thought it was actually, I picked it up because I thought it was $9.99, but the tag on the, like it was in the wrong place, so it's actually $12.99, I said forget it, I'll just take it. Um, and, cause I'd like for some smoothies as well. We have Ziploc bags or, you know, the gallon freezer, zipper bags. I have never tried these before, so I don't know if they're super thin or whatever, but that was $2.99 for 40 bags. We need them anyway. Um, and then I got some pasta because we needed some for tonight. I wasn't sure if we had any. 24 ounces for, I think it was 80, no, 99 cents. Got some more cottage cheese, but I got it from grocery outlet this time, the small curd, since I wasn't gonna go to Aldi today. And then I got some Greek gods yogurt. Uh, I know Rob usually likes the other one, but this is twice as much. It's the um, Greek gods honey vanilla flavor. It's 48 ounces and the other one was 24. This was 3.99, so it's basically like $2 for for the same size <clears throat> as the other one. And he's tried this flavor before and he really likes that as well. And then the last thing I picked up at a grocery outlet was no sugar added sliced peaches uh, for the cottage cheese. So this is good. I've never had this before. It's in water. Yeah, it's in water. <laughs> so the total there was 36.81, which is uh, understandable since I got the protein and that was quite a bit of it. So that is the grocery haul for the morning and I'm gonna go about cleaning dishes and just doing things around here. I am gonna do a little bit of food prep, I'm hoping, before I have to pick up Colin. I have a lot of stuff to do and then after school, we're gonna go do the soup thing um, at the mall. So, okay, I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible. It's 8.41 now and I'm gonna watch some YouTube while I do all this stuff. So I'll see you guys later today. Oops, sorry, baby girl. Okay, we're gonna do a little taste test. It's still real hot because I'm impatient. But they smell really, really good. Definitely tender, that panko. I don't, see, I don't usually add breadcrumbs to meatballs if I ever make meatballs, but there's a reason why it works. The breadcrumbs with the milk, it just, you know, so the meat isn't so dense, makes a nice tender meatball, I think is why that works. But yeah, it's really good. I feel like on their own, they could use a little bit more salt, but because I'm gonna add, you know, sauce and stuff, I'm gonna serve them with a, a marinara sauce. I'm not so concerned, but no, it's nice. I like it. I think it's good. I may have put maybe a little bit too much Italian seasoning, but again, on its own, like you can, 
taste those things, but with the sauce, you know, once you put everything together, it can be really good. So. Thumbs up. <laughs> Is there a way to like tie your knees so you keep the waist? Thank you. Coming up. Look out there in there. It's Wednesday morning and uh, he just came from the gym actually. It's 7.30, picked him up. Well, I drove him to the gym, hung out. I've been editing my video <laughs> in the car. Oh my gosh, it's, it's taking me forever because um, my last vlog, you know, it's really hard, the balance between, you know, privacy and, you know, putting yourself out there and stuff. But I've been trying to edit some faces and some logos out. <laughs> It's been really time consuming. Anyway, so uh, at 7.30, as I mentioned, I'm just gonna head back home. I'm gonna finish editing my video so that I can go ahead and upload it. Oh, I've been getting up early and it's really affected my, um, my routine because it's totally thrown it off. Um, I, I get up like a lot earlier now. Well, it seems a lot earlier. It's just about an hour earlier than I normally do, but an hour in the morning is, you know, it's gold. Okay, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna finish editing and uh, I'll see you guys later. My goodness, it's taken me all morning <laughs> to edit the video. There were so many like little things I needed to, to kind of do, um, but let me show you what I didn't get around to doing because I had to edit the video. Are you ready? Oh my word, that is, that's a lot of logic. I have to fold all of that, but before I do that, so I can get some energy, um, well, I just took, um, I took Capri out for a walk, but now I just, I wanna eat something. I ate the rest of the little apple that I usually give her a little sliver of an apple, but I'm so happy I have leftovers. Leftovers is what's for breakfast slash lunch. Um, is the meatballs that I made and some zucchini. I think I will go ahead and put some pasta sauce on that because it was so good last night. So I'm so stoked that I have this. And Rob didn't need it because he had um, he has a staff meeting or something like that today. So I'm gonna enjoy that. I have to put the sauce on, stick it in the microwave. But I'm so excited for that. It's gonna be so good. Um, yum 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 gonna devour that right now. None for you, sorry. It smells good though, doesn't it? Good morning. I started a vlog yesterday um, and uh, and then I just, I just didn't <laughs> continue. I don't know what it was. I just either wasn't feeling it. Well, there was, there were parts of it that I wanted to vlog, but I just couldn't. Um, we went to go get Colin's tux uh, to pick, to pick up and I was gonna, you know, record that sort of final fitting whatever um and he looks so dapper he looks so good but you'll see it in our regular vlog uh but they were just way too like every teenage boy and his mother was in there because it's like prom time so everybody was getting fitted and he had a whole bunch of his other like classmates and his friends were there too and they you know weren't expecting to be there at the same time so it was um a bit crazy at the tux place uh so I didn't get to record that, but suffice it to, suffice it to say, you'll get to see him uh, this weekend. Um, okay, so here is the news. It's, well, it's 6.45, 6.47. I'm in front of Ralph, so I'm just gonna pop in and kill time because Colin is still, well, he, I just dropped him off the gym. About the puppy, it's happening, guys. <laughs> the puppy's happening. So this weekend, in two days time, we will have a puppy. I'm excited. Actually, I have been watching a lot of videos on puppy training just to like get tips and refresh and all of that. Um, so I know it's going to be like a lot of hard work. Uh, and, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is the right decision, but I, we're all excited about the dog. Um, now it's just a matter of prepping the house so that's what I'm gonna go do today I just you know clean up and and prep stuff and I gotta get uh, a baby gate or like a dog pen we used to have one uh, from like back in the day 
and we gave it away because we didn't need it any longer. And now I'm like, oh, I wish we hadn't given it away. It was I only gave it away like earlier this year, uh, but regardless, we need a new dog pen so I could just kind of, you know, corral him in and make sure he has a safe space. And then uh, we need a crate. We had an old crate, but it was just, it was big. Uh, and I think we may have already given that away. So I reached out to my buy nothing group and said, hey, does anyone have a dog pen or a, a small crate for a, a tiny dog? I haven't heard back from anybody yet. So I don't, I don't know if that will get fulfilled by Saturday. If not, I'm just gonna go out and get stuff uh, that we need. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping someone will have something for us. Okay, so again, I'm gonna kill time in Ralph's. I'm gonna go see if they have any good clearance stuff. And look at this right by my car. It's really weird. There are these paintings in like the planter that like is surrounding the tree. Let me show you. It's very odd. I'm not, it's, it's 650 now. There's nobody out and it's drizzling. So I'm like, why are these paintings here? It's, and I don't see any, any other paint. Let me just show you. It's really bizarre. It's weird. That's unusual. So I'm going into Ralph's now. It is drizzling. So I'm gonna pop in and see if they have any good things for me on clearance. Okay, well they didn't have a lot of meat clearance, but they did have some seafood, so I picked up a couple, but look at the they go stuff in the middle. They have a ton. Jalapeno cornbread for a dollar. They have a lot of these cupcakes vegan stuff right now. Two bucks. Um, some confetti. I got the chocolate one. Lots of these, um, you know, these little cake things. What do they call them? The loaf stuff. Pies. Good morning. Good morning. I'm well. How are you? <laughs> you too. Thank you. What's this here? Ooh, brownies. That looks decadent. Oh my gosh. German chocolate brownie. Oh my god, that is like <laughs> two dollars. That's too much though. Pumpkin pie. I'm just gonna sift through all this and see what else I can pick up. Ordinarily, I would pick this guy up, but I'm not doing sugar. I'm really not. I'm looking at the stuff for the guys, but look. Just a slice of cake for 25 cents. I mean, you know, can't really beat that, right? They've got this too. It's a Ukrainian bread, Gonella. I've never tried this before. It's really soft, but I mean, out and it's 149. It's totally drizzly. Just look at this weather. <laughs> it's it's so drizzly. I just don't understand it at all. I am just gonna go back to the gym and wait for Colin to be done with his workout and then uh, I'll drop him off at school. I did not pick up a whole lot from Ralph's and I was going to buy a couple boxes of these cupcakes. Um, I, they had these chocolate blackout cupcakes, the vegan ones, and then um, there was a carrot cake for a dollar and those are normally eight dollars. I can send him with Rob or you know he could have some but I just know <laughs> I just know that if I had them in the house, I'd probably t be tempted to to eat them. I'll pull up front. Let's just do a little car haul while we wait for him. So, okay, I did buy one regular priced item, which is the Too Good. This is five ninety nine for the Too Good Yogurt. Normally it's $6.99, so I just got this one because I sent Rob with the vanilla flavored. And then um, I mentioned they didn't have a lot of meats that were on clearance, but they did have some seafood, like prepackaged seafood. Um, and I debated whether or not I should pick up more salmon. They had some wild caught salmon for $2.99, like 12 ounces for $2.99. They had salmon, they had some some tilapia. I don't usually buy tilapia. Yeah, and then they had some other marinated stuff. I did pick up these extra jumbo 
peeled and deveined tail on seasoned shrimp. It's 12 ounces for $1.99. And I tried to read the ingredients to see like what are those seasonings and spices, but all it says is shrimp, salt, spices, including mustard. Uh, so I don't know exactly how it's seasoned. So I was a little bit wary about that because I'm like, well, what if I don't like the spices? But I mean, it's kind of reddish. So I'm thinking maybe like, maybe paprika, maybe pepper, obviously mustard because it mentioned it. But so we'll try it. I bought two of them, uh, $4. So that's, that's a really good deal for shrimp. Uh, <laughs> shrimp is so expensive. Seafood just in general is really expensive. Uh, so I know we have a box of grits that we still need to use up because I made shrimp and grits one time. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do shrimp and grits again, even though I don't really know how this is seasoned, but um, yeah, so there's that. So I did buy some green onions. These were, you know, regular green onion price, whatever that is. Uh, and then I think they were 89 cents each. And then I did get a big bag of ripe, like squished bananas for 99 cents. Very, very heavy. I should have weighed it so to let you guys know how much that was, but uh, I'm gonna freeze these and uh, have them for smoothies for Colin and you know, maybe banana bread. I don't know, we'll see. Total for everything was $12.74. Okay, I am gonna put these in the oven to roast. One last thing I do before, I'm trying to brainstorm where the best area would be for the puppy. And then I've got a puppy proof, but um, I have a, an idea. Our place is small. I don't know that I've ever shown you like a house tour or whatever, but let me just give you the, the real quick lowdown. And it's, it's not clean right now, guys. Just FYI, it's not clean. So I'm not gonna really give you like the tour of the whole place, but just the living area and where we would be and uh, just kind of brainstorming the best places for the puppy. So I've got Rob's shoes there. Uh, and then we've got Goodwill and just stuff. Okay, so this is the main living room. You've seen it before. It's not very big um, and our furniture is large. And if you're new to the channel and you didn't see our moving vlog on the other one, uh, we have, progressively downsized from our largest 4,400 square feet to where we are now at 1,300 square feet. So we still have all of our large furniture and we have a lot of extra furniture in the garage as well. Like this coffee table is just like way too massive for this space. I've been wanting to get rid of it and get something smaller, but at the same time, <laughs> you know, it's expensive to replace furniture and we have it it's worked for us. We've been here for two years and this is basically the setup that we've had for the last two years. So um, there's, as you walk in and this is the space, okay. There's enough to like go down here and into the hallway. If you go over here, got that big chair there and just a little space to walk. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot. And then over here by the window, uh, we've got, and I'll probably get rid of that poof there but this is the space. So there's not a whole lot of space for like a crate in this main area, not to mention, I don't really want it totally visible. Oh, look, she's sleeping. <laughs> Are you sleepy? Oh, she has no idea. She has no idea you're gonna get a little brother <laughs> in two days. Um, so yeah, there's not a whole lot of room for a crate and I don't really want it to be the first thing you see. So this is the other option. It's still close to the family. Yes, please ignore the mess. It's still close to the family living area here and it can also just be gated off. We could put like a, a baby gate or something right here in case he needs just his own space to play. But <laughs> a massive table the massive table and all of this crap underneath. This is all stuff that's been waiting to go into the garage and I keep asking, Rob, please take it to the garage, I don't wanna do it. Um, and then that's all our Goodwill stuff from last week. But I want to, I think the best way to make this more open is to turn the table around so that it goes lengthwise across that back wall. There's not, 
a lot of room to maneuver, however. So that's problematic. The table's very heavy, and I don't know if I can do it by myself. Um, but I really feel like that's our only option to make this space a little bit more usable for the puppy. So <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with, and I have this crazy idea that I'm gonna try to at least clear the stuff out from under the table and let's see what time is it is 9 15. i don't know i don't know how long it's going to take me to do that but i do want to try to turn this around i measured it from corner to corner and then i also measured the back wall the distance there and we should have room to be able to like swing this thing around but i don't know <laughs> I just don't know. I want to get rid of this table so badly. I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to actually turn this space into like a lounge area, kind of like an extension of the living space, the living room, and just kind of like a either office study or like, you know, like a loungy area so that if people are over here, people can still sit over here and like hang out or just chill and like just have a separate area. So I've been wanting to get rid of this massive table. That is the table that we bought specifically for our, our mansion, our 4,400 square foot home for the three of us. Um, but we just haven't gotten rid of it. We've just tried to, you know, make it fit, make it work. And it does, it does. But at the same time, we're not using it for its designed purpose. You know what I mean? So that's where I stand today. Wish me luck and uh, I'll show you any progress if I make any progress. Okay, here we go. I've also been using the under the table as like a, what do you call it? Like my stock, it's not really a stockpile, I don't really stockpile, but when I do find really good deals, like I still have a bunch of these LaCroix that I got from Grocery Outlet for a real cheap. And then, you know, most recently my, um, what do you call it? Pasta sauces and the Starlight Zero. Uh, yeah, so I've been putting a few things like, and then also paper products like paper towels, um, toilet paper, that kind of stuff. I will probably continue to use the under the table as a storage area um, if I can sort of figure out a way to block it off. But I mean, there's still a good amount of real estate under here. Okay. Okay. Check it out. Look at that, not so bad, huh? A little bit tired, a little bit hot. This is very, very heavy and it's metal and I don't wanna actually scratch this even though I wanna get rid of it and there are plenty of scratches on it already. So I very, very gently tried to see if I could move this at all. <laughs> it moved just a little bit. I'm gonna see how much I can swing this thing around because like I mentioned, I wanted to go up along the back wall, but turned sideways. So like rotated 90 degrees, is it 90? I don't know, <laughs> someone help me. Geometry, I think it's 90 degrees. Um, so I wanted to go lengthwise across the wall. <sighs> so let's see if I can do that. And in case you're wondering where I put all the stuff, it looks so good with all the stuff, right? Look. Oh, hello, 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 all the things, all the things. But as I mentioned, it didn't take very long to take the stuff 
out from under the table. So when I'm ready, I will go ahead and put the stuff back under. I did start to sort through things, but I thought, you know what? No, no, no. I just want to get this done. Let's just move it out, see if I can move the table, and then I will sort things uh, as I put them back and, uh, you know, pull stuff for donations and things like that because I do want to clear this space. All right. So wish me luck here. Hope I don't break my back. Yes, I'm lifting with my legs and not my back. So let's let's see if I can do this. Okay, it is pretty insane how much space that created. I feel better about having a puppy now. This is like insane. This is insane how much space is here. I'm so happy that we got the scratch proof laminate. This, I love this and I, I really do love our flooring. Sorry, it's really dusty, whatever. I'm not actually really a puppy. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. So now I'm gonna tackle this. It is now 10.05. Oh, let me check my stuff here. Okay. Grab this. Give this a little stir. I'm not a lefty, but <laughs> you know. Mmm, smells so good. So I'm gonna keep that going. And then let me, I think this has got another, yeah, we'll just do another half hour or so. Um, I don't know if I want to butt this up entirely against the wall so that I have a space at the end here for, um, for my keyboard. I'll figure it out. I don't like having my back to, you know, like a open space. It's kind of like a feng shui thing. Or maybe I'll put a mirror up so that I can see if somebody's like coming behind me to attack me or kill me. <laughs> no, I'm not the only one that has that sort of like, yeah, uneasiness. So unfortunately now the ceiling light is nowhere above the table, but that's okay. It'll still cast a little bit of light here in the evening. Okay, let's get all this stuff back under the table. Okay, I'm just going through the very first box now just to show you. I am super overwhelmed because it's just this first box alone. And I know most of the other stuff have more current things, but that box right there had all of these old frames and photos. Um, if you have seen our house, I don't have photos up anymore. And I, you know, that's a part that kind of saddens me. Um, the last few houses we've had I've always had photos out to display, but I don't know. I just felt like I wanted a clean, whatever look to this new place, but I really, I really love having photos out. So I think I'm going to, because I'm not such a huge fan of the frames themselves anymore, I think I'm gonna maybe take the photos out. And I think these are ones that we just printed and maybe some of them actually we had developed, but let me show you some of these frames. Oh my gosh, talk about a blast from the past. Got lots of old Colin photos, you know all the baby photos. I mean, these photos, literally all of these frames, I guarantee you were probably from 10 or more years ago because I just, this is probably from our, let's see, maybe like three houses ago, but yeah, just old photos, my aunt and him, me and Rob. <laughs> oh, his first Halloween, look at that face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Black hair, look at, oh my gosh, oh, oh, that's one of the Father's Day, so that's Rob, that's my dad in the middle, I'm so, and then my grandpa in the back, so my oh. that's gotta go somewhere for sure. Oh. <laughs> that's when Colin uh, was first born, I think that was at the, yeah, oh, that's his baptism. Me and Rob. Let's 
what's this? Uh, that's my sister in college. Yeah, look, these are so old, all the baby stuff. And then over here, we have more photos. Oh, that's Robin, me when on our wedding day, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and then all this stuff was in there as well. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. I don't even, purple, I mean, not our thing. This was from the last place, our condo. Yeah, so really the only thing from this box I'm keeping for now is this. If I can find a use for it, otherwise it's going away. Rob will never know. But that is the thing. I'm gonna get rid of all these frames. I really, I might keep one or two. Um, definitely this Waterford one, cause it's, you know, it's a nice frame. Um, so, oh gosh, totally overwhelmed. Like, can I get all this stuff back under the table by the end of today? Okay, I thought I'd just give you a little update. I'm about to pick up Colin, uh, or wait to pick him up. So the bottom is pretty clear right now, but I'm not done uh, shoving things under the table. It's not gonna be so bad, however. Uh, I have reserved a tub, like a Rubbermaid, what do you call it, storage tote for like some the food items uh, so that they can just be contained. And then over here, we've got these two boxes are empty. I'm gonna toss those. And then this is actually like recycle stuff. Uh, these two, so the bag and then the box underneath it are all giveaway donation. And then my keyboard, obviously, I gotta figure out the best position on the table. And then I have to figure out what to do with my music because I don't wanna get that thrashed. But at the same time, I don't wanna necessarily put it up on the table. Um, and then this is for storage, that's for storage. I know underneath the table is gonna be like a hot mess. So I kinda wanna keep the, ta the top of the table nice and clean. But anyway, we shall see, we shall see, we shall see. We've got Miss Preecy here. There she is, just cleaning herself. <laughs> okay, I am gonna um, put something warm on cause it's still gray and gloomy outside. I'm gonna go uh, wait to pick up Colin and take him. He's got a haircut appointment today. So he's gonna get his, his haircut and that'll be the afternoon. I'll finish up as much as possible here and I'll show you the finished result when it gets to be finished. Okay, see you later. I am just waiting. Colin's pretty much done with his haircut. It's just, I'm finishing up or whatever. So I had to get cash for him. So I went to, uh, I went to Stater Brothers, the grocery store, and I bought stuff so I could get cash back and um, I bought three tomatoes and then realized there was a $5 minimum. So I had to go buy something else, which is fine. Uh, but unfortunately I chose these. They are sugar-free. They're sugar-free chocolate mini muffins, normally $6.49. They had some bakery discounts and stuff like that, but nothing like the Ralph's. The Ralph's really could, could not be beat. $4.22 still, very expensive. Uh, yeah, so I got these. I'm gonna try them. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Mm, you scare me. <laughs> it's a beautiful ass cut. How much was it though? Is this 40? It's 35. Okay. Just a nice guy. Okay. So I'm gonna see if I can wrangle him to go to the pet store, maybe to look for stuff for the dog. Uh, but if not, we'll just go home so that um you say thank you. Yep, I'm like he's like, Who you want to change? I'm like, no, that's all you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> What do you think like, what, what do you think like this? Like, what do you mean? Kind of like middle part oh, of ish. Okay, hold on. Let me, I'm gonna turn this off. No, I'm showing too much forehead. Like that. Uh, Coconut, smells good. Okay, so we go home or do you want to look at dog stuff? Oh, you want to go pet smart? Yeah. Okay, let's go to pet smart. Okay, pet smart. That's so cute. Just as I turned it off, he goes, oh my gosh, we're getting a new dog. So. I think, I think we're finally all excited and maybe, maybe, you know.